All right, guys, welcome back to day seven. Uh, it has already been six days and today is the day seventh. And after today, we'll be completing a week of Python GUI programming using Kinter. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited for today because we are going to be controlling the music of our music player and how, how loud it is, how, uh, how silent it is. We can make the volume as zero. So basically, we'll be controlling the volume of the music being played in our background. So, but before that, let's recap what we have done in the previous video. We created this uh, stop button and we implemented the functionality of stopping the music. And it was pretty easy, not that difficult. Uh, this video is going to be a little bit bigger, I think. So strap in. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing we are going to do is actually implement uh, and add something known as a scale widget. So what is a scale widget is, uh, actually let me show you in VLC media player. So let's open the VLC media player. All right. And if you look um, in the bottom right corner, there is this widget which helps us increase and decrease the volume. And if even if you look over here in a uh, typical, uh, this uh, volume control of windows, you can see there's also this widget which helps us control the volume. And this widget which helps us control the volume is actually known as a scale widget. So this functionality is inbuilt inside Kinter of the scale widget. Uh, so let's go back to our code and let's start creating a scale widget. Now to create a scale widget, I'm just going to recreate a variable and I'm going to call it scale. And then I'm going to use the function called scale. And where do we want this scale to appear? We want it to appear in root. And now we have to give it the values. So for example, in our uh, windows default, volume control you can see it has a full volume of 100 and it has a minimum value of zero all right i'm not going to actually do it because i'm actually uh, recording with this samsung go mic so i don't want to mess this up but the minimum value is zero and the maximum value is 100 similarly in a vlc music player if you can look at the bottom right corner the minimum value is zero percent and the maximum value is 125 percent so there are different maximum and minimum values so over here, similarly, we'll have to specify parameters that what should be our minimum value of the scale and what should be the maximum value of the scale. So we are just going to write from underscore underscore equals to zero. So this is going to be our starting value of the volume. We want to start it from zero and we want to end it at hundred. Uh, you can make it 125 or anything you want, but I just think hundred is a pretty good uh, standard thing of volume to do. And after that, I'm just going to pack it and let's have a look at how good our scale widget looks. So I'm just going to right click over here. Let's right click, run on main. And as you can see, there is a volume control. We have a volume control which doesn't work right now and even its orientation is a little bit messed up. It's vertical, we want the orientation to be horizontal. Uh, but still, it, it, it looks like a decent uh, volume control right now. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually change its uh, orientation to horizontal. So with that, we can do it with the next parameter. It's called orient equals to, and then in capital, we can write horizontal. All right, so let's reload it and see what's up. Now you can see it's, uh, it's starting to look more like a volume control kind of a widget now because it's horizontal now. But still, uh, nothing is happening, right? We are not able to control the music or anything right now. So there's this function called set volume inside this mixer package that we imported at the start, which is which can be used to control the volume. But the thing is that it only accepts value from zero to one. So it can ex ex uh, accept a value of 0 0.5, 0 0.6. So one is the maximum music and zero is the lowest music that is music won't even uh, you won't be able to hear the music It's just silent. So zero is the minimum and one is the maximum. But if you look at our scale widget right now, you can see that uh, we have given it the values from zero to hundred. So what we are going to do is we are going to set the volume uh, using the scale widget. Now what we want is every time let's open the scale widget again. Okay, let's not get confused and start from the from the top again. All right. So what we want, the first thing what we want is whenever we change the value, for example, let's say I have uh, put the value as 54 and then I have uh, I've just set the value as 54. 
So when I set the value as 54, then there should be a function called which can be used to actually change the volume. All right, and that function is set, set uh, volume. Let's just do it and you'll understand it in the process if you're not able to understand it right now. So just like in buttons, which has a command when the button is pressed, similarly, the scale, when we release a mouse from, uh, for example, let's say, uh, let's say 54, whenever we release a mouse from a specific point, let's say 56, then I want a command to be called or a function to be called. And that can be done by using the similarly, the similar command uh, function. I'm just going to write command equals to, and then I'm just going to write set, uh, set volume. Actually, let's just call it set wall because uh, the function name is set underscore volume. So don't want to mix it with that. But anyways, the command, the command that's going to execute, that is the function that's going to be that function that is going to be that is going to get called is set underscore volume man i'm really babbling on my words huh? i'm stumbling on my words i don't know why but anyways uh let's create this function and we'll call it um what is it called yeah set underscore volume set underscore volume all right and then inside it okay so now the question is, how is the value of this uh, scale? Let's say we uh, stopped at default of uh, 56. How is this value of 56 going to get into this uh, set volume? Actually, I've named it wrong. Set wall function. How is this value going to uh, get to this function? So what happens in Kinta is whenever we call a function from a widget, for example, right now from a scale widget, it automatically sends the value in a variable called valval. So we'll automatically have this uh, uh, this value inside our val parameter. Uh, so what we are going to do is we are just going to, but this value will be in string and not integer. So first we have to convert it into an integer to use it. All right. So what I'm going to do is simply write uh, volume equals to integer val divided by 100. Let me just write it out. Uh, then I'll uh, tell you what's happening behind the scenes. Uh, mixer dot uh, music mixer dot music dot set volume, and then it requires the value, and the value is just volume. Or we, what we can also do is, uh, yeah, th 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 this looks fine. All right, so what's happening over here? All right, so first we call this function from the scale widget, all right? Whenever we set a value, for example, 54, so it's going to get called, and this 54 value is automatically going to be sent to this set underscore volume function inside this VAL parameter. So this VAL currently has 54, but it's in string format. So we have to convert it into an integer. Uh, and divide, why are we dividing it by 100? I'll just tell you in a second. But uh, how are we converting the string into an integer by something known as typecasting? So whenever you want to convert anything into one data type into another data type, you have to use something known as typecasting. So basically, you write uh, the result resulted uh, data type outside, and then you put the variable inside brackets. So currently this is a string inside a string and whenever we want something to be converted to integer we just write int in front of it and convert it and just add brackets in front of the variable that's it this is this is just basically typecasting from string to an integer and then this is an integer so this is this this now is 54 in integer now why are you dividing it by 100 so what happens is because this mixer the set volume function let me actually add a uh, comment, all right, set underscore volume, volume uh, of mixer takes value only from uh, zero to one. Uh, example, 0 0.1, 0 0.55, uh, 0 0.54, and uh, 0 point, even 0.99 and one. All right, so it starts from zero and it can take uh, any values from between zero to one, all right? It can even be in decimals and stuff, all right? So it's not a problem. All right, let's let's let me, let me uh, just add it on the next line. 
what, what's the problem block comment should start with hash it's starting right okay you just have to give a space after it anyways uh yeah so because the set volume only takes value from zero to one that's why we have to divide it by 100 so we can't just write 54 inside it it's not gonna work all right what we want is the value should be divided by 100 so 54 divided by 100 is actually equal to 0 0.54 which is okay according to the set value function set volume function so that's why we are dividing it by 100 all right all right let me just recap what's happening right now because it might be a little bit messed up all right i might have done a bad job explaining it so i'm just going to do it again and if you have already understood it just like forward it or speed it up a little bit all right so what i'm what we have done is that we have taken the scale widget all right we have put in the values of minimum and maximum we could have done zero one but it wouldn't have made sense for the user then we wouldn't have to do this uh, divide by 100 and stuff because it's already from zero to one but it looks better for a user to do it from zero to 100 because it has he has a lot of more choices or right, we could even do it from zero to 1000 he'll have more even more choices but it's fine uh, 0 to 100 is pretty cool then we change the orientation to horizontal for the looks and then whenever we set a set a value for example over here we did 18 let's say so this function is going to be called which is called set underscore wall, wall function and then it's going to send this 18 number to this function and after it sends the 18 number over here it's going to divide that 18 number first it's going to convert it into an integer from a string then it's going to divide that 18 by 100 and let's actually go to google and search what is 18 divided by 100 it's going to open a calculator and say 0 0.18 so that is exactly what we want because this value is between 0 to 1 and because our this set underscore volume function of the mixer only takes value from 0 to 1 uh, that's why we have to divide it by 100 and when it's divided by 100 it gives us uh, for example if we take 18 18 when divides by 100 it gives us the value of 0 0.18 and then uh, we the, this set underscore volume function can do its job uh, all right so this was a pretty long explanation uh, i hope you understood it so let's actually play it and see what's up all right so let's uh, let me actually close everything up first uh, let's close this let's close this and now i'm going to just play the music you might not be able to hear me and stuff so don't worry about that I'll try to speak in between, but there's a high chance you won't be able to hear it. So let's see. All right, so I'm just going to press, press this uh, play button. All right, that's going to play the music. And currently the volume it is at zero, so you're not going to hear any music. But as I increase the volume, you'll be able to start hearing the music. All right, so currently the volume at zero, so no music. So you won't be able to hear any music, but when you increase it, you should be able to hear some music. so now you shouldn't be able to hear any music if you are this uh, function is not working and I fail but I uh, hopefully it's not the thing happened that happened now I can just stop the music and exit this uh, music player all right so but one thing uh, it's working right uh, our volume thing is working but one problem is still there that when we execute this uh, this program the default value is starting from zero, which we don't want. We want it to be somewhere in around like maybe 70 or 80 ish area so that there's some music playing and you can handle the music. It shouldn't start with zero, right? Which kind of music player starts with zero? Even like VLC music player starts with like something like uh, maybe 39 or something. I don't remember. But anyway, so let's uh, give it a default value. So how we are going to do that? We are just going to write scale dot set and inside this, uh, the default value that we want i just want it 70 70 looks good uh, let me just reload it all right so now you can see as it reloaded it automatically went to 70 and i didn't have to do anything to it uh, so now its default value is 70. all right guys uh, let's play the music once more So our music player is looking a little bit better. This was a little bit of a long video and I hope you understood everything properly. And uh, yeah, so this with this video, we have completed seven days. Congratulations, guys, if you have made it till this video. 
uh, from now on we are going to be working on more advanced features we are going to be making this toolbar we are going to be making a status bar down below and we are going to be working on a lot of cool things all right uh, and if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you go down and press the subscribe button because uh, you know right now you have to come back and back to the channel to see if i have uploaded new videos and stuff uh, you know it's just a good idea to get it into your feed and also press that notification button because youtube has changed algorithm and stuff so yeah uh, i'll see you on day eight